Yeah, hi there. These comments are for N. This is Michael, and I'm commenting on your writing. You're writing for an academic discussion post, right? I have the rubrics that the TOEFL uses to grade this new writing task. So I'm looking at it right now. Let's take a look at what, what you wrote here. You say, please read it, evaluate my TOEFL Academic Discussion Board practice essay. Also, let me know which areas I can improve on to achieve a better score. Thank you pr for providing this free TOEFL writing feedback. Okay, you're welcome. And remember that I grade one writing practice test for free. So after you get the comments here, do not send me any more uh, writing practice. If you like the service I'm providing, you can go to uh, uh, bettertoeflscores.com. I have a TOEFL speaking and writing feedback service you might be interested in. Okay, so when I'm looking at what you wrote here, and let me see what Microsoft Word thinks of it. You do have some grammar errors. You got a 92% uh, score here. That's not bad. Let's take a look at your vocabulary level. So the average number of words per sentence is 26.8. That's strong. And your characters per word <laughs> is 4.7. So your grade level here is about 12.4. So it, you, you have academic writing here. So that's a good sign. Okay, you say, in my opinion, working in a traditional office is better than working at home. I strongly agree with Sam's opinion that it's difficult to build a relationship with colleagues when and I would probably change this to if you're talking about Sam when he or when workers or how about when employees, don't want to repeat the same word, when employees maybe work remotely. I would stay away from that you point of view. I'd add that this will cause workers to become, but here's the problem. So you made a, you made a, a statement here. I agree that it's difficult to build relationships with colleagues when workers work remotely. The question is now, do you have any type of an example from your personal experience or the experience of people that you know that would support that assertion that you've made? So you see where it says in the three area, elaboration in which part of an explanation, example, or detail may be missing, unclear, or irrelevant. So I think that you could probably... Uh, support that point you say I'd add that this will cause workers to become more and more depressed and emotional every day because there will be nobody to pour out their innermost feelings how about with whom to pour out their innermost feelings I think I would probably add this I would put that in there Maybe I'll edit some of the changes that I'm making here. For example, during the COVID lockdown, my mom had to work at home. Maybe you could combine both of these sentences and I found out that she was more upset at home than in her office because... And it looks like you're talking about something in the past, right? Because she could not talk with two of her colleagues. You want to say who, not which. You use who to refer to people, which to refer to things. Okay, we'll have here who... Well, Ellie Ray, so you're commenting on it looks like there's two posts that were posted and you, you commented on the first one about Sam's opinion. Now you're talking about Ellie's opinion. Well, Ellie raised the relevant point that working remotely can avoid the stress of commuting.
Notice you said I'll agree with Sam DePina that it is difficult. And I would use, I think, you can use the present tense to explain other people's points of view. While well, Ellie raises a relevant point that working remotely can avoid the stress of commuting. And then you can put here, she does not mention that people cannot use facilities located in the place where they, they work. Like the canteen fitness center or computer room. This would definitely cause some problems. Be careful of the word this. This will definitely cause some problems because workers cannot use this kind of convenience for using these public equipment. And this is a little awkward how you, you said this. So they need they may need to drive or walk a long way to find a place for eating lunch or doing exercises, which will lead to an extremely high commuting time. Okay, so I got the general idea here. I wanted to kind of look at it. And believe it or not, this is actually the first... This is the first writing for an academic discussion that I have graded. I know the TOEFL is switching over uh, this month to the writing and academic post. And I'm thinking with yours, I'm thinking between three and four. I don't think you're in the five area. Let's look at the four. It says it's, it, it, the response is relevant, is a relevant contribution. And facilitating the use of language allows the writer's ideas to be easily understood. Uh, not necessarily there. You have relevant, adequately elaborated explanations, exemplifications, and or details. I think that one assertion you made in the beginning could have been elaborated more. Uh, I think you're three. I'm going to put you in the three area. So 3.0 out of 4, a typical response displays the following elaboration in which part of an explanation example or detail may be missing, unclear, or irrelevant. Some variety in syntactic structures and range of vocabulary. You have good variety, really, there. You have some noticeable lexical uh, and grammatical errors in sentence structure, word form, or use of idiomatic language. So... I think because of this idea here, number one and number three, I'm going to go with 3.0 out of five. So maybe 20 to 21 points out of 30 uh, on that post that you wrote. All right, and thank you for completing the assignment.